Welcome to Females and Fine Fettle, from Wiped Out to Wealth. This is where conscientious women entrepreneurs and women living like a boss come to learn about balancing their personal and professional wellness with ease. If you have the enthusiasm, motivation, and grit to make it happen, then listen up every Monday. To be sure you don't miss an episode, sign up for weekly updates at femalesandfinefettle.com. The following discussion is for educational purposes only and is not intended to diagnose or treat any disease. Please don't apply any of this information without first speaking with your doctor. Now, here are your hosts, Denise Pasquinelli and Dr. Michelle, your natural women's health advocates who blend the wisdom of ancient healing traditions and the science of functional medicine. Hey there, and welcome back. Today, we are going to be diving deep into the topic of our health and how having a healthy body, mind, and spirit is the ultimate form of wealth. Michelle and I both fiercely believe that our health and wellness creates the foundation for all that we do in the world. When our energy levels are out of whack, our brains are foggy, our digestive system is causing us pain and distraction, we just can't show up in the world shining as bright. So in this episode, Michelle and I are going to talk about how to transform your health so you can share your gifts, better serve your clients, and show up even more for your families. Oh, yeah. This is <laughs> the, like the deep, juicy stuff, the stuff that really gets me super pumped and it keeps me motivated to do more. So if you're a loyal follower on social media, you've probably noticed that I've been a bit quiet lately. Um, the fact is I've been working on this new project that I'm beside myself excited to share with you. Um, it's not quite done yet, but I wanted to give you a little taste so you can start getting excited with me and hopefully give me a little bit of feedback. So Denise mentioned that we're going to be talking about how to transform your health. And she used that word specifically because I've actually created an acronym for transform that will end up being your nine part guide to becoming a wealthy woman. So I'll give you the brief intro to each of the nine parts, and today we'll actually dive into three of them. So transform stands for time frame, resilience, alignment, nutrients, social support, food plan, outcomes, relaxation, and movement. And today we're taking a deep dive into time frame, alignment, and nutrients, a mini tan acronym for you since it's summertime. <laughs> I know I'm I getting tan. <laughs> totally. I know. I love that. That was really unplanned too. <laughs> so funny. It's perfect. <laughs> so time frame is such an important topic when it comes to your health, especially when we consider elevating our health for the long haul. So most of us have been conditioned to want that quick fix, that magic pill, that new fad diet, uh, that new key to unlock the cellar door to the root of all that ails us. But, you know, <laughs> in reality, we are, you know, we are looking for that root cause. But the fact is that when it's in our face, <laughs> we wish we hadn't seen it, right? We don't really want to find it because that means we need to make changes. We need to get uncomfortable. We need to challenge ourselves in ways that we would have never anticipated in the past. You know, creating a realistic time frame for healing is the first step because if we don't have clarity around what this means, it's going to be virtually impossible to follow through. Mm, so true. And Honestly, I think that a person's mindset about time frame specifically is ultimately what will determine their success. Yes. And I, yeah, totally. And I, I think one of the reasons I have gravitated, <clears throat> excuse me, towards older or um, maybe more Eastern healing modalities is that when it comes to health and wellness, it is very clearly articulated that building and maintaining a healthy mind, body, spirit is a daily pursuit. Mm -hmm. It's it's a lifestyle. And there is definitely a time and a place for intervention and intense therapies. But for the most part, we create health on a daily basis, just as we diminish our overall vitality with small daily choices. I find this to be super empowering. Oh my gosh. I, fe I feel like it's like the most empowering thing, mm -hmm. right? It's like we have the choice. We have the capability. We have the access. Like we, we have the, yeah, we can do it. <laughs> Anyways, mm -hmm. it's all about that slow and steady pace, right? It's like the turtle and the hare. 
So like as a general guideline, I usually tell my clients that for every year or so that they've had a symptom, it's going to take at least a month or so to have noticeable improvement. Obviously, this can vary depending on the person, their predispositions, their dedication, their follow through. You know, for some, it's going to take a little bit less time and for others, it'll take a little bit longer. So like Denise said, the biggest barrier to lasting transformational health is really our mindset. And if we can start our journey or even pivot on our existing journey to understand that everything worth anything takes time, then we become unstoppable. You know, a lot of people talk about getting healthy, right? Quote, getting healthy. But what happens when you get there? Do you stop and revert back to your old habits? Are you just like, I'm feeling amazing, but screw this. I'm going to start eating gluten again, or I'm going to start binging on food again. Yeah, that sounds great, right? No, hell no. This is a lifelong journey that is filled with the ebbs and flows of life. It's always about the journey, not the destination. Yeah. And, you know, I think that there's nothing more motivating than feeling better, right? So like once you're feeling good and knowledgeable about why you do feel better, it becomes much easier to make those daily health creating decisions. And I tend to think about that journey that you mentioned as a spiral and you know, a spiral can move up or it can spiral down and it inherently has momentum in either direction. So while it may be challenging to change that trajectory, if you are in a downward spiral, once you do, it's exponentially easier to stay flowing in that same direction. I love that visual. It's so, so, so true. That momentum is incredibly powerful and and right depending on like how fast you're going up or down that spiral it makes it harder to <laughs> yeah. kind of turn it around too totally but so cool um all right so the a is for alignment and we touched on this during our last episode and how being in alignment not only within ourselves you know spiritually mentally emotionally and physically but also with our environment whether that be in relationship or the work that we do is really vital to the amount of impact that we can have on this world right if we're not aligned then we're scattered and when we're scattered we're only able to show up sort of half-assed in life right we need to be fully aligned with our purpose and our passion to create the strongest and most profound impact we can through the life that we're here to live Mm, totally and from the ayurvedic perspective which is one that i love that sublime sort of vitality is called ojas and ojas is spelled o-j-a-s i just love the way the word looks even Mm -hmm. but um it is the state of alignment in mind body and spirit so when translated that word literally means vitality or bodily strength so Balanced ojas is necessary for having strong immune system function, sparkling intelligence, emotional clarity, and it's the vital energy that governs communication of the vital organs and our hormonal balance. So, you know, cultivating ojas means you're pretty much unstoppable. Yes, I love that. And I love how you said sparkling intelligence. (laughs) For some reason, it's such a visual for me. Anyways, (laughs) um, and also I'm totally freaking out because that reminds me of um, ikigai, you know, the the Japanese Mm -hmm. concept of a reason for being that that crystal clear alignment in all areas of our life that makes everything worthwhile. So, so Uh. good. (laughs) Um, But yeah, this alignment is also really essential for us to reach that coveted flow state or, you know, being in the zone. If you don't know what I'm talking about, one, you are totally missing out. And two, (laughs) (laughs) it's basically this mental, emotional, spiritual, physical state in which you feel and perform at your absolute best best. So if you kind of want to nerd out on some flow state stuff, um, check out this book, uh, Stealing Fire. Um, We'll link to it in the show notes, but it goes into the history and the modern applications of flow state and various ways to attain it. But you know, one of the easiest ways is definitely through having a regular meditation practice. So when we're in flow, um, we're more motivated, we're more creative, and we're actually better able to absorb and learn new information. Um, And when we're not in alignment, we're not in that flow, 
and we can feel like really bummed out. We can feel distracted, scattered, fatigued, all of those things that kind of keep us stagnant, right? Mm, There is nothing better than a flow state. And I loved, I think because you said the word absorb, I don't know, but also because I'm a geek when it comes to digestive health, I see a major connection here between the ability to get in the flow and the ability to digest what comes our way. And by that, I mean processing the foods we eat and processing our emotions, our thoughts, and sensory impressions we absorb throughout our day. So part of this process is sitting with your food, your emotions, your thoughts, breaking them down and absorbing what needs to stay with you for you to become that badass self. Mm -hmm. But the other important part of the process is letting go and releasing the things that aren't really meant for you. And we talked about this a little bit in our last episode. Mm -hmm. I think of digestion as the physiological process of discernment. So digesting and assimilating that that's that act of deciding what belongs to us and what will become us. And that's via our blood cells and releasing that which does not belong to us or letting go of the things that were never really ours. So a key component to getting in the flow and experiencing alignment in all areas of our lives is to really strengthen that digestive process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And literally allowing our digestion to flow, right? I Mm -hmm. see too many women who are constipated because they're literally holding onto all this shit that is not serving them. Yeah, (laughs) totally. Literally. (laughs) Literally. (laughs) All right. So the third segment here is on nutrients. And we're not just talking about vitamins and minerals here, but also what nourishes us on the mental, emotional, and spiritual plane as well. Because, you know, I get asked a lot whether people need to be on supplements. And honestly, In an ideal world, I would say no, right? But the fact is that we have depleted soils, we have dysfunctional digestive systems, and a general lack of desire to change our lifestyle habits. So in that case, hell yes, we need supplements, right? The thing to remember is that they are called supplements, not substitutes. So you can't just take some pills and call it good. That sounds an awful lot like conventional medicine, right? And that's not what we're doing here. You know, using herbs, vitamins, and minerals is great uh, in the appropriate context, but we don't want to end up using them as band-aids just like a pharmaceutical, right? That's shitty practice and not the way to create transformational health. On top of that, for those of you who've worked with me individually, you know that I'm not a supplement pusher. We'll use targeted supplements for certain phases of healing um, or, you know, certain protocols. But the key is to look at the bigger picture and cross-reference symptoms and patterns with things like lab work right? Because without some objective data in place, it's virtually impossible to recommend appropriate supplements, especially when we consider the impact of our genes and what how they impact our nutrient uh, production, transportation, um, and absorption. You know, mm-hmm. for example, if you guys listen to the... Um, some of my topics on uh, nutrients, you know, I recently found out that my vitamin D transporters do not function well. So if I want to maintain healthy levels of vitamin D, I actually have to split up my doses throughout the day instead of taking one lump sum of say, you know, 5,000 I use per day. Um, But if I didn't have this information, I might be, you know, increasing my dose to like 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 IUs and still not seeing that lab budge, right? Um, And then I'd, I'd end up basically wasting a bunch of money on supplements that were just going down the toilet. So, um, by the way, if you want to learn more about uh, this sort of thing, functional genomics and how to get a customized formulation for your genetic blueprint, definitely check out episode 55. Mm, It's such awesome information. I love that example that you just gave because it is super personal. Um, And and like what, again, like going back to that concept of what is for us and what's not, like, I, I just feel like going back to that thread and we thinking and thinking about like you are what you eat. Mm. I think it really is more about you are 
what you can digest. So like what you're physically able to digest. And like you mentioned, that's affected by genetics Mm -hmm. as well as the health of our gut and the health of our mental, emotional state and in our environment, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Um, And I really do think that understanding that these are all interconnected and affect our ability to truly nourish ourselves is a pretty important step. We talked about this a lot in episode 38 when we explored the vagus nerve and how it relates to digestion and intuition, which is another juicy piece of feeling healthy, wealthy, and in the flow. So if you didn't catch that episode, definitely check it out. Yes, 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 for sure. Definitely um, check out episode 38 if you want to nerd out on some of that digestive health. Love it. Um, All right. So uh, this is just, you know, a little taste of what's to come and what topics I'm going to be diving into. So each section is going to have guided action items to take you step by step through the process of transforming your health. So let me know what you think. All right. So for today's lesson, we have one time frame. So be realistic and commit for the long haul. This is a shift in mindset and one that will keep you healthy for decades to come. Two, alignment. Take inventory of where or when you feel scattered and ask yourself where you might be out of alignment with your purpose or passion. This could be with work, with a partner, with a friendship, with a lifestyle habit or behavior. Really sit with yourself on this one. And three, finally, nutrients. So ask yourself how well your body is getting or being nourished. Are you relying on supplements in hopes that you can avoid making lifestyle changes? Are you ruminating on emotions that are blocking your flow? Think about it and let us know. Great stuff. So that's a wrap. Thank you. Hopefully you got a little golden tan after this episode. (laughs) Uh, next week, we're super excited to share with you our conversation with Katie Pasternak. Katie is a fun and fiery outspoken transformation coach that helps women embody new levels of leaders- leadership so that they can create businesses and lives that turn their souls on. On. Katie talks about mind, body, soul alignment in a very powerful way. So be sure to tune in next week. And if you're digging what you hear on this podcast, please leave us a quick review on iTunes. Reviews really help us to reach more women like you. Lots of love and catch you next time. Whoop, whoop. Thank you for listening to Females and Fine Fettle from Wiped Out to Wealthy, a podcast to fit your lifestyle. If you like what you've heard, please subscribe, rate, and review at femalesandfinefettle.com. If you have questions or topic ideas for upcoming episodes, we'd love to hear from you. Please be sure to tune in next week.